Welcome back to the Swissmart factory, a place where we test and build the future of the industry. This year, over 50 companies joined us in what we call the Lighthouse Project Industry 4.0. The goal is to create a fully automated and highly flexible interconnected assembly line. Every video we make, we show you a different part of the endeavor, a part of that assembly line. You will see the next generation tech needed for the actual industrial evolution and how it will affect our industry in many ways. And today, we talk about how to digital retrofit your production. Digitalization in Industry 4.0 doesn't mean you have to throw away your old machines. Instead, you can adapt your old machine and make them fit for Industry 4.0. Simply spoken, we want to equip them with a network connector like this. Nowadays, hardware and software solutions from different partners of our network allows a fast and pragmatic integration of your machine. So-called edge gateways and smart sensors are used to gather the required data and send them to the cloud. Using a standardized data model. Then the data can be visualized in dashboards and even analyzed with machine learning algorithms. But this is a topic for a future video. You might want to subscribe for that. First, let's focus on getting useful data out of our machines. In our case, we showed this retrofit topic on our 3D printer farm. This demonstrator represents a machine park. Like yours, just a bit smaller. Each of the nine modules are printers, which in this case produce arms for drones. Every of the nine printer modules are retrofitted with IO-Link sensors from Balef, Pepper and Fuchs, SIG and SMC to generate additional information not provided by the original machine. With an ultrasonic sensor, we are able to measure how much material is still in the spool. With an inductive sensor like this one, we can read the real axis value and compare it to the number given by the machine. A smart light is added as well to inform in a simple way about the process and machine status. We are also using this small BCM sensor from Balof to read atmospheric pressure, temperature, humidity and vibration. To connect sensors and gateway together, we also need a so-called IO-Link master, like this one. This builds the bridge between the sensors and the gateway. For that, we have many ways to do it. The first way is the more traditional way. You connect one to the PLC by using a bus protocol and you forward the information to the edge gateway. This means you have to connect your devices in your machine network to get the data. The second way is to use this IO-Link master from SIG which has a REST API to integrate it without a PLC. The third way is to use an IO-Link master like this, which has already an OPC US server built in. In the last two examples, you don't have to change anything on your running machine. This IO-Link master will work in parallel to the PLC. Why do we use IO-Link? Simply because this is the state of the art in the world of sensors. For more information about IO-Link, visit their website here. But in a nutshell, IO-Link is a fast integration by a given data model from the manufacturer. All the sensor information are collected from the gateway and then published in an OPC US server. This is the second most important technology in this use case. OPC US stands for Unified Architecture. This is a machine-to-machine -machine communication protocol developed by the OPC Foundation. Go on their website as well to learn more about it. OPC UA allows us to have a standardized machine-to-machine -machine protocol which can be used as well to connect machine to the cloud. Here we have a Hilscher NetPy, a Harting Mika, a TTTEC Nerve and a Pils Revolution Pi, on which OPC US servers are installed. In the OPC US server, we are publishing all the needed information around the machine, process data, environment information, configuration, energy consumption, and actual status. Here is another solution from Vago, which is literally a solution out of the box. More about it in a future video. All right, now we are able to generate data, but it would be great to visualize it. Efficiency System has developed a web-based OPC UI client tool to instantly build dashboards. This will allow you to see what is currently happening in your production. 
Here I have an example dashboard from one of our printers. This took me around 15 minutes to configure. No programming was involved. In conclusion, it is very important to increase the efficiency of your production machines. With a few gateways and sensors connected to an easy to use dashboarding software, you can improve the transparency of your machine park. Thanks to the companies that provide and integrate this use case, this is a long-term project and on our way to create an industry 4.0 production line, we will build, test and connect many different solutions from different companies. If you are interested in what else will be part of this new factory, or how we will integrate more technologies, then subscribe and keep on watching, because there is a lot more coming. I'm Michael Wendling from the Swiss Mart Factory. See you next time.